Hi color kids, this is Kitty Carty Hiley from RainbowBright.net. Welcome back to the Rainbow Land Museum. And I already have another merch haul to do, which I did not expect to have already. Um, it's been, well, maybe it's been about a month since my last one. But Hallmark stores have not come out with any new merchandise, so I was like, oh, well, it'll be a while before I have much of anything to talk about. But since my last video, Hallmark has, um, I don't know if come out with is the right word. They've added more designs to Zazzle.com, which is a website they've sold merchandise through for the past several years. Um, and I've bought a few things from them before, and I know I've mentioned some of them, especially their their t-shirts, because um, I've complained about the quality of the prints on their shirts before. But they make a lot of other merchandise apart from t-shirts. And yeah, just recently after my last video, so the beginning of February, they added I don't remember how many, at least like 10 probably, new designs that are still classic designs, but they're just ones that were not on the site already, or they are classic designs that are a little bit spruced up to look a bit more modern and just eye-catching, you know, bright colors popping at you. Anyway, it's great. So I was super excited to see that they had added a bunch of new designs, and with that, a bunch of new merchandise, because um, some of these items that I'm going to be showing you are things that I don't think they were selling before, even on the old designs that they had already available on their site. Um, and of course, Wisp has to make an appearance. Hello, darling! But before I get to the Zazzle stuff, what I do have just a few other things that have also gotten in the meantime that I wanted to mention. So again, I can put it on my list and put it away somewhere so that I can make more room on my desk for more stuff. Um, first, I'm going to do some fan art. I've only gotten one piece to show you this time, but it's a really important one. Um, this is another seller kit from Rage Gear Studios, and you know already I'm a massive fan of theirs. This is M, if you can see at the bottom there. Um, this is based on the color kid M, just the letter M, who oh, I've already forgotten the other name she goes by. Monet, I think? Yeah, but she is apparently like... She can do everything. She is like the most powerful color or um, <laughs> X-Men. <laughs> Sorry, not color kid. Uh, even though she looks like one, most uh, one of the most powerful X-Men like ever. When I was reading her bio, I was like, what can this girl not do? Like she literally has the powers of pretty much all of the, uh, I keep wanting to call them color kids. All of the X-Men combined. She's that awesome. She's just, she's super, super cool. You should look her up if you don't know her backstory. Um, now, Rage Care Studios had started working on her months ago, and they had just picked up working on her again, you know, finishing up the coloring, um, adding the background, that kind of thing, when the immigration ban happened, when the executive order was signed. Wisp? No, not right now. Um, so what they did with her, and it's important for a couple of reasons, um, Rage Care Studios themselves are second generation immigrants. so that hit home to them personally. And then this character from the X-Men is actually a Muslim immigrant herself. So it was super appropriate, um, really good timing that they were almost done with her when that happened. So they, they kind of used her as a bit of a um, mascot, I guess you could say, for that cause using their own art. Um, but what they're doing that's so special about her is they are not making money off of this character, what they are doing um, to be able to, to own her, you have to make a donation to the ACLU since they're the ones that were able to get the stay um, put on the travel ban and are working to, you know, overturn that, all that good stuff. Um, so you can't just go to their Etsy store and buy M like you've been able to with their other seller kids. Um, you can only get her by making a, don making a donation to the ACLU and then emailing a receipt of your donation to them. Um, and they've got on their website or on their Facebook page exactly how much, like what donation amount you need to get the regular print versus the shiny, sparkly glitter print. Um, and it has the email address to where to send that email to the, the receipt to. So I will include a link to that in the description of this video. Um, but I had to show her off because she's so beautiful and so important right now. And I'm so thankful to them for, you know, taking that cause that was, you know, even if it wasn't close to home to them, I think they would have 
taken up that cause because they're that kind of people. They just, they love everyone. And they want everyone to be treated equally. Um, so I was really just thankful and proud and all the good feelings for Rage Care. Wisp! Apparently she thinks she is just as important as what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> you are important to me, my love. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm just super, super happy they did that. Um, and I had already donated actually to the ACLU before they made this announcement. Um, as soon as that stay was issued um, on the travel ban, I was like, oh my gosh, they are doing good work. They need money to continue doing good work. So I just happened to get a print out of it. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to mention that. And again, I will include a link to how you can get a copy of her on the, in the description of this video because she's beautiful and they're working on like i think i counted nine more like they are not anywhere close to being done with the seller kids it's amazing um yeah I'm pretty sure it's nine that i counted of all different types and different like shades of the colors because you know they did the primary colors or the main seven when they did the first seller kids so now they're doing some in between like chartreuse and opal and yeah, some cool colors. Teal, um, can't think of the word. Anyway, yeah, they're doing really cool stuff. Um, some of it culturally relevant, like M, some of it just for fun. Um, but you should definitely go to their Facebook page and check out what's coming down the road because I'm excited to get all of them eventually. <laughs> so that's the fan art I have this week. Um, let me tell you about what I'm wearing real quick. This is what I forgot to show you last time from Truffle Shuffle. I got this sweatshirt. And I also got this hoodie, which you can tell I haven't worn it because the tag is still on, but <laughs> it says made in the eighties and it's adorable. And I think I actually got the right sizes this time. Um, cause the last time I got a sweat or sweater like this was that aqua blue one and I had gotten the extra small and it fit, but it was a little tight and the arms weren't quite as long as I wanted them to be. So I got a small this time and I love it. It's much more comfy. Um, yeah, you can tell it's a little roomy, but I don't mind. It's, it's very, very comfortable. So I'm, I'm glad that I did that. And with this one, yeah, I also got a small, so I haven't actually tried it on, but just from holding it up, I can tell it's going to be perfectly comfortable and the inside yeah it's pretty soft in there yay it actually hasn't been that cold lately like I got these when it was super cold in like December I guess or early January and then all of a sudden our spring came super early in February <laughs> this year so it's barely been cold enough to wear them um today is a sort of cold-ish day so I figured I would throw this on for the purpose of the video to show you guys um those but yeah they were having a sale on all of their exclusive designs and uh these were two of them hello again my darling <laughs> she really really wants to be a part of this yes everybody loves you you're adorable but i've got stuff to do thank you uh yeah so that's the clothing that's the art i got one vintage item off of instagram got some rainbow bright dominoes what these are from yeah, England. I was like, I know it's not the U.S. <laughs> Where are they from again? Yeah, these are from the U.K. And let me just show you what one looks like real quick. So they've got like pictures on one side of the characters, and then on the other side is actual dominoes. Although I don't know why that one is just a red square. Most of them are actually like that. But it's got, I think, instructions in here somewhere on how to play the game. I. I Hmm, actually maybe it doesn't. This might not have come with instructions. <laughs> but I think it's just you're matching up the characters or you're matching up the numbers. I'm not really sure. I got it more as a collector's piece than something to actually play with. But it's something I've seen pop up on eBay and so forth for several years and had never had a chance to grab one. So I was super glad that this one popped up on Instagram and I was able to pounce on it. So that's all the non-Zazzle stuff. So now I'm going to get into the Zazzle stuff. And I'm going to tell you the best way to get Zazzle stuff. Because when you first go to the website and you start looking through the merchandise, a lot of your first thoughts, like mine, are going to be, oh, this stuff's expensive. Ooh, I don't know if I want to spend that much on XYZ. Um, here's how you do Zazzle. <laughs> let, me, let me just tell you. And let me give you an example for the first, the first order I made, because I have made several, and I'm going to explain why right here in a minute. Um, 
But what I did when I saw that they had all these new designs and I knew I wanted to order some stuff, but I wasn't willing to pay a full price at the time, um, was I signed up for their email list. And now if you go to the bottom of Zazzle.com, it says get exclusive offers. There's a spot to put in your email address and it says sign me up. So what you want to do is put in your email address and click sign me up and then you'll start getting emails. Um, it's not necessarily every day, but they're pretty often and it tells you what their sales are for the moment. So the day that I got my first email, they were having 40% off of stickers, magnets and post-it notes and maybe other stuff too, but those were the three that stood out to me. So what did I do? I, and it was like late at night, so I didn't have time to go looking through all the designs and get multiples. I just picked one design that I liked and got all of it in the same design. So this is a photo magnet is what they call it. It's pretty thin, but it's, you know, magnet on the, on the back and it's super cute. My only complaint with this, I don't know if you can even really tell, it's not exactly centered. It's close. Um, like it wasn't off center enough for me to bug them and be like, dude, this is off center. Send me another one. You know? <laughs> I wasn't that worried about it, but just, yeah, keep that in mind. Sometimes things don't print exactly right. And if something is way off center or, you know, if like the bottom of the design were off the magnet or something, I definitely would have complained and they would have made it right. They're really good about if you get something and you're not happy with it, they will replace it. So don't worry about that. Um, then I got some post-it notes. It's a pretty thick, like I forget how many it said are on this pad, but it's a, I don't know, 50, 100. It's a pretty good size pad of post-it notes with Lori Booth Bright symbol on it, um, or logo on it. And it had on there where you could customize it to say like Katie's desk or Katie's notes or whatever, but I just took the text off. Um, and that's the other great thing about Zazzle merchandise is all of it is customizable. You can change colors, you can change text, you can remove text, etc. cetera. Um, all I did on these three was I removed the text from the post-its. I didn't change anything else. Cause again, it was late. I was in a hurry and I was like, get it done, get it done. Um, and with the stickers, they had two different sizes. You could get one sheet of six larger ones or a sheet of, I've already forgotten the number, maybe 20 smaller, but it's, so it's the same sheet, size sheet of paper. It's just that the stickers themselves are smaller. So you get more of them on the sheet when you get the smaller designs. Wiz, no. <laughs> but again, I really like this design and these are centered. <laughs> And I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I just, I wanted to have them and they were 40% off. So, okay. Second point about that order and what is going to help you guys going forward. If you want to buy anything from Zazzle, I went to place the order and I was curious what the shipping charge was going to be. And it was like $12 and something just for those. And I was like, excuse me, I'm not paying $12 for shipping. But they have what is called Zazzle Black that you can sign up for. And it's kind of like Amazon Prime, but it's not two day shipping. Like they have a, another one that's, I forget what it's called, Zazzle Green or something that is two day. Um, but the Zazzle Black is much cheaper. It is $9.95 a year for free shipping on everything. So it was literally cheaper for me to pay the $9.95 to get free shipping for the rest of the year. No. Than it was for me to pay the regular shipping on that one order. <laughs> um, I think the green or whatever it's called, that's the two day shipping is like $39.95 a year, which I didn't need any of this stuff that fast. So I was perfectly happy with just getting the Zazzle Black. Um, but when you get that, then you don't have to order everything at once. You don't have to wait for all the things to be on sale. You can piecemeal like what I've been doing. So I got those products when they were 40% off. And then a few days later, like I don't even remember the order I got all these things in, but you know, one day water bottles were 40 or 50% off. And I think all of the stuff I got was either 40 or 50%. I don't like, sometimes they'll have 30% and I'm just like, eh, maybe depends on the original price of the thing, uh, <laughs> whether or not it's worth it to me, but they have 40 and 50% off sales pretty darn often. Um, so yeah, so these were on sale one day. So I got one of those. It's adorable. And again, it, you could have changed the color of the bottle. There were many different options, but I just thought it stood out on white the best and looked really good. And it does in person. Um, the print on here is really, really well done. It's like, it's raised. You can feel it. So I don't know what type of printing process they're using, but it looks hearty. 
I think it will hold up to use pretty well. And it's not like pixelated or anything. It looks really sharp. It's really, it's, yeah, it looks really good. Um, and it's just one of those, that was loud, sorry. <laughs> Little screw top water bottles. So yeah. And I actually have also ordered a tumbler, which is like a plastic version, um, cause that's metal, but they have like a squeezy plastic tumbler thing. But I just ordered that like last night. So it's not here yet, but I'll show you the rest of the stuff. So then another day they were having a sale on mugs. And I got this absolutely adorable mug. Oh my God. Isn't that the cutest thing? So all the most, uh, yeah, probably all of the designs you can get put on a mug. Um, but a lot of them, it'll have that one, like say if it were this design, for instance, it would have that design on one side and then it would also have it repeated on the other side. But then there's kind of nothing in between. Um, and sometimes if you try to customize it and move it around, it won't go close enough to the handle. It stops a little short and it looks funny to me. Like I tried putting this on it and just making it really big and it sort of worked. It like wrapped around a bit, but it didn't go very far towards the handle. So I wasn't as happy with that. So you got to kind of play around and see which one is your favorite. And I still have a lot of other favorites that I'll probably get eventually. I've made myself like a Zazzle wish list with all the links of the things that eventually I want to have, but I'm just doing one at a time right now to check out quality and, um, yeah, see if I if I really do want more. But with the mugs, I would say yes, I want more mugs, even though I already have a ton of tea and coffee mugs. Oh my god, it's a problem. <laughs> I really like collecting them and they're not all rainbow bright. They're like just random, but I love, I love mugs. But this one was my favorite because the design wrapped all the way around and it took up most of the space top to bottom. There was another version of the same mug that had the Rainbow Bright logo over top of them right here, but the color kids were a little bit shorter on that one. Um, and I don't think they came quite as far towards the handle. So I opted for the one without the text and I might've been able to customize it to make them bigger. I didn't try too hard. Um, I just saw this and was like, good enough, done. <laughs> but I love that the inside is blue. That's super cool. Some of them had blue handles. I can't rem Yeah, I guess I was thinking this one did, but I must be wrong. I'll have to look back and see which ones have the blue handles. But you can also customize the inside color. Like I could have made this red or green or... But yeah, clearly I'm going to choose the light blue because that's my favorite color. Look, it matches my room. <laughs> and it just goes really well with Rainbow Bright and the color kids. So love that mug. And it's huge. Like look how big this mug is, but they have different sizes. They have more like regular size mugs and then they have the bigger ones and you can customize them all kinds of different ways. Um, I think that's everything in front of me. Okay. Two things behind me here. Actually, let me do the smaller one first. So I'm going to get up to show you the other one. Okay. I got a tote bag. Look how cute this is move the handles. There we go. I love this tote bag and it's pretty darn big. I didn't actually look at the measurements or measure it myself because I'm lame. Sorry. I'm unprepared. But again, you can see all of that on their website. They give you really good details on all of their stuff. <laughs> Sorry, She's making crazy noises. Um, and again, the print quality on this is amazing. It's really, really well done. It's just like printed on the fabric. It's not raised or anything. You can't feel the design. It's just part of the fabric. It was probably like a white bag that they printed on. I don't know. Um, and the inside is just black. And it's got these decently long black straps. I don't think that there was an option to change the color of the straps. But again, I didn't look too hard. Um, I'm not really good at the whole customizing thing yet. I'm still getting the hang of that. I'm usually just like, oh, this looks good the way it is. Done. Um, but yeah, I should probably try customize a little bit more. So yeah, got the tote bag. And I think this is the final thing. I got another shower curtain, you guys. Like, I love the one that I already had from Cow Cow that Elador designed. I guess that was last year that I got. And it's still hanging in my bathroom. I love it to death. But Zazzle also has shower curtains now. So these are all, oh, and I don't think I mentioned, like these are officially licen licensed by Hallmark. Like Hallmark is the one who gave them the designs to use. Um, Zazzle is just the company that's carrying out the actual printing and shipping and all that. Um, and not all of the things ship directly from Zazzle. 
um, like the mugs do, probably the water bottles, that kind of thing, maybe the tote bag, I don't quite remember. Um, but also a lot of this stuff is made by other companies, so they kind of outsource and then it just ships directly to you from those companies. So some things come quicker than others, like I think the mug probably came quickest, it was like directly from Zazzle and I had it in a few days. Um, but none of these took a really long time. So let me hold this up, it's massive. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you the entire thing, but I'll try. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Isn't that adorable? So it's just got twink and rainbow, and it's all rainbow, and the bottom says sparkle. Hold on, let me hold that up so you can see it. Sparkle! And it's like good quality from what I can tell. Um, again, I haven't hung it up in my bathroom yet because I wanted to show it to you guys first. But it's just, again, printed on um, on the fabric. Uh, what can I hold up to show you? So let's get her face in the frame. <laughs> it's so big! But look at it's just, oh my gosh! It looks so good! Yeah, you agree. I know. You probably want to lay on it. Not gonna happen. Um, I don't know what material this is. I was gonna look and see if there was a tag real quick. Mm, nope. I don't see one, sorry. Um, but whatever it is, and it probably says on the site, it just feels really good. It's like wrinkle resistant. Um, yeah, there's hardly any creases. I mean, there's some creases from where it was folded, but they're not bad at all. And it's got these little, like, the holes have uh, reinforced thread around them. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, and I think this will actually stay on my hooks a little better. I have just the little hooks that go up and there's like a little ball on the end and you just sit it on there. So it's not the full circle that you have to undo and breaks half the time when you're trying to take it off. Um, but because of that, with my other one, it's like these little eyelets with the little metal thing and they fall off all the time. So I'm hoping that this will stay on a little better as well. So I'm super excited to put that in my bathroom. Check it out. Let me put it here so the cat does not take it as a bed. Okay, I think that is everything. <laughs> Sorry, this video went way longer than I expected it to. My bad. But yeah, so even when there's not anything new in Hallmark stores, there's still Hallmark stuff that you can be collecting. Um, either from truffleshuffle.com, like this, they've got these two sweaters and several other um, item, clothing items. Uh, they may still have some of the jewelry too, I can't quite remember. I know some of the items they've sold out of by, by this point, because they've been selling them for, I guess, a couple of years. Um, and I guess they just didn't restock some of the ones once they sold out, but they do still have several things left, and I love them to death. They're really, really good quality, would recommend. And then the Zazzle stuff, from what I've seen so far, again, I would recommend them too. Um, one of the things I really, really want from Zazzle, and it just hasn't been on sale yet, is the, or at least not low enough for me, <laughs> is they have these tank tops, which I didn't, I don't remember them having them before. They're just these full color, super bright tank tops. And one of the fans, actually on my Facebook page uh, ordered one and it took a while to get to her. I want to say it's about three weeks um, until she received it so it must have been coming from another country or somewhere but sadly it did not fit her. Um, she said they do run really small and I checked their website and I would agree if you look at the measurements they're showing like the entire circumference, diameter, whatever, the entire like the inches all the way around. I know I'm saying that wrong, but it's not just across, it's roundabout, so it's like chest size, but it's not, like, don't look at it the same as you would bra size, because it's not. Um, basically take the number, I think, and half it, and that's going to be how many inches across it is, as far as I can tell. So usually I would get like a small in things, and I think I, when I looked at the numbers, I would probably get a large. So yeah. I think they do run kind of small, and they only go small through extra large. Um, but again, I can't say from experience because I haven't actually touched one or held one or put one on yet. Hopefully soon I'll be able to get one of those to show to you guys as well. Um, but yeah, that's that's high on my priority list of things I want from Zazzle. But I just wanted to let you know that they're 
yeah, there is that official merchandise still out there in other venues, on other venues, um, while we are waiting for Hallmark to come up with new stuff in their stores. Which again, have not heard any rumors yet of anything else, but I'm still keeping my fingers crossed. So you do the same, keep those rainbows bright, and I will talk to you again soon. Have a rainbow day. Bye.